Hi guys, welcome back to Makeup Bag Monday, week 38. If you don't know what Makeup Bag Monday is, it's a weekly makeup bag rotation video. Essentially, you get in-depth reviews of all new makeup products, new makeup products in the market from me, rotating my makeup collection. After using it for a full week, I check back with reviews, swatches, and demos of me actually using the products for a full week. So if you want to see how last week's Makeup Bag Monday performed, which was some new Lorac products, Benefit Cheek Palette, or not Cheek Palette, Blush, then just keep on watching. But if you want to stop right here, catch up on Makeup Bag Monday and see what, what happened last week or any of the previous weeks, then just click that little playlist link down in the description box where I have every single Makeup Bag Monday since week one here on this channel. There's 38 videos. You can catch up or just browse and come back and see what everything I tried out, how I think. Last week. Okay, let's get started with last week's Makeup Bag Monday. The first product is the new California from Benefit. And I've been seeing so much buzz about this on social media and I finally got my hands on it. And this is really, really cute. I think the packaging is adorable. I think the color looks really peachy and pink and really fun and bright and pop of life for spring and summer. I'm wearing it today, but I have to be completely honest, it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I. I, I'm wearing it, but I can't really tell. Um, when you swatch it, it's really pigmented and it's really pink and really pretty, but I think in on me, it just doesn't look as poppin' as it could. But I do like the shade. I feel like if you're a little bit lighter than me, you might really enjoy it. And I think this would be a natural flush for those of you guys darker than me. So I love the packaging. There's nothing wrong with the product whatsoever. There is a overlay of um, glitter, like spray on stuff. And then you get the really pretty like poppy orange pink, which almost looks neon when you swatch it, but it just doesn't translate as much on my cheeks, which is kind of a good sign because it's way more wearable than it was what it looks like when you touch the product with your fingers and it's way more wearable than it will, what it looks like when you swatch the products. Oh, by the way, with swatches, this week we are starting to put all of Makeup Bag Monday swatch photos over on the blog serenewoo.com. So if you are shopping or if you want to reference swatches, check out the blog. And if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, subscribe to the newsletter and you can also opt in for every new blog post notification and I will send you an email letting you guys know there's a new blog post and if you would like to be notified of content creator tips which I do like maybe every other week then you can be notified for that email as well we recently did one on how to buy your first camera for blogging and YouTube back to this um if you want to see like an actual swatch on white paper then we are doing those photos over on the blog so if you guys like that we'll keep doing it I think it's just easier to shop when you can like see it. Do you know what I mean? Because I think sometimes when you're shopping on Sephora, the swatches aren't good. They almost look cartoony or printed or like someone filled in the colors, whereas we're actually swatching it on paper. I don't hate the product, just not as, I feel like I need it to show up a little bit more, but I am also happy that it doesn't show up more because then it would be really hard to wear. So I'm, I'm just kind of like, mm, like, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I like Dallas more. Just stick with cheeks today, okay? So this is the Pirates of the Ca Caribbean. <laughs> the Rock and Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? Why do I say Caribbean? I think it's Caribbean. Um, this thing, it's the face palette and you've got three shimmer, or you got four shimmers really, and then a kind of like mauve blush tone and then you get a kind of cool tones, uh, either bronzer or contour. I use it as a bronzer. And then I'm wearing Destined, which is a center shade on this side, on my cheekbones and inner on Cupid's bow. I've also worn it on my inner corners before. I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. The quality is really, really good, and it's very pigmented and blendable, very soft and buttery. There's nothing wrong with this. Now, I think that the colors, because it's inspired by Pirates of the Caribbean, is a little bit muted. So if you like the muted tones, you will love this face palette. I actually found it quite enjoyable, 
probably not something I would reach for as the weather warms up because I like brighter colors, softer colors. Um, this is definitely very much of a like neutral to cool tone muted situation happening. The eyeshadow palette for Pirates of the Caribbean and this is the Lorac version. So this is their collab. It's limited edition. It's available now. You can purchase it. And I have to say when I saw this originally, I was kind of like, I don't know about this. Like really, why does Pirates of the Caribbean need a eyeshadow palette? But I quite enjoy it. And it's kind of perfect timing because with my new hair color, I really like cool tone makeup lately. The eyeshadows are really blendable. They're very pigmented. They are the closest to the Lorac Pro palette formulations that I have tried outside of the Lorac Pro line in the Lorac makeup family. That probably was so confusing. So if you like these eyeshadows and you like Pirates of the Caribbean or if you just like these eyeshadows which are very cool tone mix of neutrals, mattes, and also some fun pops of color with some really pretty shimmers, then this is a good palette. I don't like the packaging too much because it's kind of bulky because there's this like little secret hidden compartment that you can put the face palette in. This is sold separately though, so it's kind of like incentive for you to buy both, I think. But I also kind of am like, why do I need to do that? Because I'd rather have this be a sleeker palette. But I don't know, if you're a fan of the movie, I think you might like it. It's just cardboard, so nothing like super super fancy but it's sturdy cardboard and you get a nice little eyeliner it's a black eyeliner it's a um, twist up so you don't need to sharpen it I quite enjoy it it's creamy enough and pigmented enough for me to do a soft smoky wing line with it really like this nothing wrong with this palette if you like these shades pick it up I think you'll be happy with it the lipsticks that I had from the Lorac and Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales collection this is the lip gloss and lipstick in bar bossy so one end is the lipstick and the other end is the gloss this is my favorite shade of the two that I own and you can wear these separately or you can layer them together they complement each other but they don't have to be worn together this is the one that I tried out in my Instagram video I didn't like this shade as much this is trident uh, a little too nudie for me on the lipstick end and then the gloss was a little too baby pink for me quality is good very comfortable very buttery very easy to wear it doesn't get all over my teeth like most products do and there's a nice little mirror application too here on the on the packaging the other lip products I was testing out are from M Cosmetics and I am wearing the shade Rose Nude. This is by far my favorite. It's very comfortable. It's a demi matte finish and it does last a nice long time but it does fade and leave a nice little stain. So I think that's the unique thing about these lip products is as it fades it leaves a nice wash of color and while it does have a pretty decent longevity it is not super drying. It's very comfortable um, but not uh, glossy at the same time. It's it's a demi matte. It's definitely whipped texture. Of course there's a bunch of these other shades as well. Um, I will have the swatches with the name of them inserted in the blog post like I mentioned but I am also inserting the swatches on my arm right now for you guys to see as well in video format. I just think they have a good range of colors too. A lot of nudes and then a lot of fun pops of color as well. I love the new packaging and yeah so congratulations to M Cosmetics. The eyebrow product I was testing out is from Models Own and this is their Now Brow Eyebrow Kit. I quite enjoyed this brow powder. The packaging looks a little like not uh, super luxe, but the product is really good. The brow powder is very, very good. Very pigmented, lasts a decent amount of time, very comparable to my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And I did not try the pomade or the highlight. I just didn't have a need for it. It also comes with stencils. I don't really have a need for it either, but it's good if you're starting out. So this might be a good kit to look into if you are starting out with your brows and you want to change it up or you want some help with it. I also tested out these Pure Cosmetics egg spongy thingies, contour sponges. Um, so I use the yellow and the teal. It's all the same, it's just different colors. I quite enjoyed these. These remind me in terms of the texture when wet they remind me the most to the real techniques 
sponge, um, not quite as soft, very dense, so not quite as fluffy as the Beauty Blender, but still nice to work with. And what I do like about this is that it has the flat end, so it really works well at setting and going under. It also is great for contour, and then you blend it out with the round butt side. Unlike the L'Oreal one, I tested out the L'Oreal one a few weeks ago. I watched my collab with Lizzie. She had talked about this sponge from L'Oreal, and I was so excited. I bought it, but this sponge, like, it rips on you so quickly. I used it twice and I already noticed a rip. And when you wet it, it just, you can see all the rips, but when it dries down, you can't see the rips. So anyways, this was like $9 at the drugstore. So still really affordable. And the rips, I mean, I can still use it, but that just kind of sucks. So just spend a little bit more, I feel like, and get ones that don't rip after two uses. I've used it for a full week. No noticeable wear and tear just yet. Um, obviously, I have to use it longer to let you guys know if it will wear and tear. But the L'Oreal one was a little disappointing on my end. And I got a couple comments saying that you guys had experienced the same thing. Although Lizzie, I think, has two of them. And she she hasn't said anything about them ripping yet, so it might just be the batches. Um, I might buy another one and see if it will rip, but I do really like the texture of this one a little bit more than the pure, but if it keeps ripping, it's not worth it. And then the fragrance I had been using is from the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. This essentially is the bum bum cream in a body spritz, and I love it. It's so, so tropical and yummy. It's very, very fun and splashy and like um, perfect for spring and summer. It reminds me of the beach. It be reminds me of the pool and you get so much product, like so much product, so much product in this thing. And it's such fun packaging too. Not the most travel friendly, but definitely fun to like kind of have on your counter. So I'm going to use this again for another week. I have to keep my fragrances around for about like two weeks. Okay. So that's everything from last week. This coming week, I will be testing out the new It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow Palette with this beautiful brush. Your complete complexion, you've got bronzer, blush, and then highlight, and essentially you can take this brush, go like that, go like that, and you're done. Not sure, I haven't tried it, I've only swatched these. It comes in three shades, Instant Warm Glow, you've got Instant Natural Glow, and then you've got Instant Nude Glow. And for the eyeshadow palette, I think I'm going to pull out the model's own vintage rose palette. And this is very much like a plummy eyeshadow palette with a couple neutrals and cool tones I can play with. And finally, I have some Lash Food products. This is the Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. And then this is the Conditioning Drama Mascara. So these have peptides in them to help condition your lashes and help them grow and stay healthy and strong. And then I have the Brow Food Tinted Brow Enhancing uh, gel fix. So I'm testing these out for the next week and we'll update you guys on what I think about that. That's everything I will be testing out for next week. If you would like to see how these products perform with swatches, in-depth reviews, and demos of me using all of it, then make sure you check back next week as well. Every Monday is Makeup Bag Monday here on my channel. And if you missed any of the Makeup Bag Monday videos, there are 38 videos. You can check it out in the playlist down in the description box. First clickable link is down there. You can check all of the fun things out. And of course I upload three new videos here every week every Monday Wednesday and Friday two videos over on my second channel more serene for PR unboxings hauls that don't have to do with makeup and oh well, I do makeup hauls over there too just very laid-back very casual uh, lifestyle videos vlogs PR unboxings DIYs food that fun stuff every Tuesday and Thursday over on my second channel more serene new podcast episodes every Saturday on the podcast and I hope to see you guys back here. If anything, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if anything, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress from your day, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos and I hope I was able to do that for you. And I hope to see you guys back here on Wednesday. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.